Hello, I'm Sam Stovall, U.S. Equity Strategist for S&P Capital IQ. In this week's Sector Watch, I discussed October's surge and November's purge, as well as discussed the market's typical response to shocks to the system. In the week just past, the S&P 500 fell 3.6%. Not a factor in this swift sell-off was the response to the terrorist attacks in Paris, which we think will cause gold and safe haven currencies to strengthen. In turn, we see a weaker euro. Oil and energy stocks might also firm as the terrorist actions reintroduce supply uncertainty into the energy equation. Defense stocks should get a pop, while airlines and travel and leisure stocks likely sag. Yet because we don't see these terrorist actions causing substantially more weakness to the global economy, we believe any share price decline will be short-lived. Following selected market shocks since World War II, the S&P 500 experienced an average one-day decline of slightly more than 2%, and fell nearly 6% before bottoming 11 days later. The market got back to break even in less than a month, however, after investors concluded that most shocks would not result in recession. So there you have it. Global equity markets now have to contend with the uncertainties surrounding the aftermath of the Paris terror attacks. History says, but does not guarantee, that market weakness following such horrible events is typically short-lived and advises investors not to add remorse over selling equities into this weakness to the grief we are now experiencing over the loss of innocent life. I'm Sam Stovall. I'll talk with you again next week.